Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm really glad you're here today because we're going to be building this bear animal stool. Now this is a really fun project if you're just getting started in woodworking or you want a woodworking project that you can sell online. I have two other videos where I show you how to make a fox version of the animal stool and also a turtle uh, uh, stool. And if you haven't seen those videos yet, I'll put a link right here and also in the description below. But today, I'm going to show you how to make this little guy. So if you're ready for it, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to trace out your template onto your material. Now, you can use plywood or wood, whatever you have laying around your shop. I like using templates versus a cutting out paper, but either one will work. If you're interested in the templates and plans, I'll put a link to them right here in the video and also in the description below. After you've traced everything out, you'll want to cut out your pieces using a bandsaw or a scroll saw. It really doesn't matter what you use. I prefer the bandsaw because I find it to be easier and faster, but if you don't have access to one, you can always use a scroll saw. It's totally up to you and what you feel comfortable with. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you want to spray paint your base color first and that's going to be black because you want to set the eyes in and to do that I would recommend using the template to find the location of the eyes and using the little circle stickers and place them for the eye and we're going to do the same thing for the nose. Now you're going to let that sit and then you're going to spray everything brown. Now I accidentally sprayed it beige first here but then I realized it and then I sprayed everything brown. And then once that dries, you're going to lay down the nose. So you're going to use that one inch sticker, place it on the nose, and then you're going to spray the beige part for the snout. Now, once your snout paint dries, that beige color, you're then going to put a template for the snout. So you're going to cut your snout out and then tape it down. And then you're going to spray the whole entire head brown and then let it dry. So now comes the really fun part, unmasking everything and seeing the final product. Now, one thing to be careful of is when you're unmasking everything, not to pull the tape off too fast. I actually peeled some of the paint away where I had to go back and touch it up. Now, it might actually be easier and faster just to hand paint this rather than doing this whole masking uh, process. I leave that up to you. So now you want to lay all your parts out and we're going to start assembling. The first thing you want to assemble are the legs. When installing the legs, be sure to apply some wood glue and then screw everything in and make sure you have everything aligned correctly. Once everything's screwed in, you may have some excess glue that you'll need to wipe away. Next, you want to install the tail. This is pretty straightforward and easy. You can use a screw if you want. I just like to use brad nails. Make sure you don't go too far and punch through the other side. Next, you'll want to attach the head using the same method that you attach to the tail. Now I think my nephew Lawson is going to really like this bear stool.
Okay, so the bear stool is complete. I had a lot of fun building this and putting this together for you guys, showing you how to make yet another really awesome animal stool. Now, if you have any comments or questions about this project, please post them below. I read everything and I really do my best to answer every question that you guys have. And if you wanna see more videos like this on projects that you can make and sell online, smash that thumbs up button for me. It lets me know that I need to make more stuff like this and it also helps you guys find this type of content. Again, I really appreciate uh, the time, you sticking around to the end. And if you want to know more about things that I'm building and things you can sell online, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right guys, well, till next time, I'll see you later.